Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a really quick review to do for you. This one is so overdue, and I feel bad about it, honestly. Um, this is from Andar, and this is the Fitz wallet phone uh, that they offer. Uh, I originally got this when I got my iPhone 13. I was looking for a new case because... Well, I like the wallet cases or card slot cases, uh, mainly because I just don't do wallets. Uh, I don't carry a wallet. Um, even now, like I'm about to jump on a plane to Blade West tonight, and I packed a sort of really minimalist wallet, and I just put a couple cards in it that I may need when I'm there. So I put that in my backpack, but this is still going to be my main wallet while I'm there. And I basically just keep two cards in it. That's what it holds. You can, uh, what I try to do is if you do want to carry cash, I know some people like to carry a 20 or a 100 or whatever, you just put your two cards in and then you kind of pull them out a little bit, spread them, and you just kind of slide your $100 bill between the two cards and then sh shove it all down and it will slide in. Um, it does wear in, so at first it's kind of hard to even get the two cards in, but it wears into where they're snug, but you can get them in and out pretty easy. Um, I've had this for about a year now, and um, that's why I feel bad about it, because they sent it to me, obviously, to review, um, and it's I use my phone to record. So it's just been impossible... Um, to do the review that's a that's not impossible i'm doing it right now i'm an idiot but it's just been difficult because i i don't think about it for a long time because it's always on my phone and then when i do i'm like oh, i should use my wife's phone and do the video but then i'm like you know she's not gonna want me to take her phone um so then i end up not doing it so i finally just took the case off my wife was like why don't you just take the case off and review it and i'm like i could <laughs> But I can't show it on the phone, but at least you can see it, right? I actually have another one right here and another one right here. I have uh, so many of their products. Um, I have this leather sleeve that my uh, MacBook goes in, and I have a case for my MacBook. All of that comes from Andar, and, you know, you see them a lot on social media, so you think, you know, they're just giving out free shit and getting promotion and yes this stuff was all free um but i asked for it i reached out to them and asked to collaborate they didn't come to me offering to you know free stuff and we'll pay you for videos they haven't paid me anything i, I think i am signed up for an affiliate thing but nobody uses it because i don't i don't you know i don't do a lot of leather stuff i'm mostly a knife guy and i guess you know fidgets now but um so I'm not here to sell you on this. Um, I think it's easy to sell you on it because it's fantastic. Um, but I just wanted to I wanted to do the review because I felt bad that I've had this stuff for so long. And I've done unboxings. I've done a couple of videos touching on them. Um, but I haven't, like, done, you know, the review kind of thing. Um, so let me put these aside. We can get into these again later. Um, but uh, all their stuff is top-notch. So the phone case, it fits really well. I have had no issues with it sliding off, coming off, or anything. You can actually see here, I've, I think, never taken this off to clean it. And you can look inside. Um, I dare you, right now, as you're watching this, take the case off of your phone and look inside. Because it will be absolutely disgusting. Um, this is really good for a year's worth of crud. Um, what that tells me is the fit is really good on these. Um, they don't have a lot of uh, a space around the, the sides, no gapping or anything. Um, so there's not a bunch of crap getting around in here. Because I've had cases that I've had to clean like every week because there's just shit in there. Lint and all types of stuff gets in, right? Um, so that's nice. I like how at the bottom it doesn't have like a full closure and then just the thing to plug it in because that can get annoying if they don't get the fit right um you know you can't get your plug in or it's just annoying uh over here they have the two buttons they work great they're clicky um that's what i really like i mean you can't hear them now but uh when i use my phone i can feel and hear the clicks it has that tactile nature to it which i really like i hate when you put a case on it and it's like a mushy button um it's just kind of awkward 
Um, the side switch is pretty good. It is kind of deep in there when it's on the phone, so it's kind of hard. You got to use your nail to get it, but I think they do that so that you don't accidentally depress it. Um, obviously, the camera cutout has a little bump here. I have had no issues busting up my camera. I think, you know, Apple does a good job with um, the strength of their material or whatever, you know, glass. Um, I haven't really had any issues with Apple phones. I think I just got my first, like, scratch on my screen that I'm looking at. It's kind of a crack, little tiny, puts like a hyphen on the screen, which sucks. But, like, it's been a year, and I've dropped that thing so many times, and I must have just put something right on the screen. Um, it does protect the screen pretty well. I still highly recommend a screen protector. Um, the trick to a screen protector, because I know a lot of you guys are, if you're watching this, because <laughs> it's not a knife video, um, I know a lot of you are probably like, yeah, those screen protectors, they break instantly, you know, or you got to get the plastic ones that suck if you don't want them to break, but then they're really bendy and like, the, the, it doesn't feel or look right because it's plastic. So I always get the glass ones, right? And you put that on, it feels just like your screen when you're swiping and everything. It looks crystal clear, but they crack really easy. I mean, you just like drop your phone one time from your waist onto a carpet sometimes and it feels like they crack. So what I do is I go to Best Buy, all right? And um, I forget the brand name. Um, damn, I forget the brand name of it, but there's only like two brands that make the good glass ones. And there's one that has like the Armor Pro Plus or whatever. It's like Pro Plus and it's like Plus Plus, you know, glass reinforced, whatever. It doesn't matter if you get the Plus or the Plus Plus, whatever. But at Best Buy, if you buy it from them and then you have them install it, I think you have to have them install it, which is like eight bucks. So yes, you are paying like, I don't know, 35 or 40 bucks for the glass protector. And then you're paying like eight bucks for them to install it. But here's the trick. Once they do that, it's free replacement for the lifetime of the phone, basically, of the product. Because, you know, once you get a new phone, you got to get a new size. But I have had to go to Best Buy like seven or eight times in the past year to get my screen protector replaced right now i don't have one on because i broke it and i just hadn't had time to go back and i just hadn't thought about it but all i gotta do is go into best buy give them my email at the customer service place or have the receipt on my phone whatever they print the receipt out for you there you go over to the the, the uh, electronic section and you grab the thing off the shelf uh, you grab another one, you go up and you say, hey, I uh, I need to replace this and it'll be free. You don't even pay for the install again. You literally walk in and walk out with a brand new phone protector. I've literally gone back like a week later because I dropped my phone somewhere and it cracked the screen. It sucks that you're cracking these all the time. I totally agree that that part needs to be corrected somewhere along the way that these protectors are so easy to break. But Go to Best Buy. Use the trick because it saves you so much money. I was spending 30 bucks a month on screen protectors. Like, that's stupid. So you buy it one time, and then you're good for a year, two years, however long you have that phone. So that's my advice on the screen protectors. Sorry. I went on a rampage there. Um, but, yeah, the leather's really good on this. Uh, they only have the one color, sadly. I would have loved to have seen a blue or a tan or something and tried a different one, but this is still the only color they have. But if you're gonna have one color, I think this is a really good color. Um, it feels really good in the hand. I get a good grip on it. I mean, I really have no complaints about this. It works fantastically. And I just wanted to do a review on it and cover it because uh, it's, it's literally, it's probably the most used item in my EDC is this phone case, right? I am probably holding this more than any other item in my EDC. And maybe that's something I need to, you know, look at. But absolutely phenomenal. Feels good in the hand. The only downside I have to it, but I think it's more the phone or just the fact that I'm on my phone too much. But you can see I almost have like a dent right here. Um, and that's from like holding my phone like this and typing and stuff. I don't always do two hand like some people. I do this. And it actually gets uncomfortable sometimes after a while. Um, I think I'm building like a, a knuckle here. 
We're going to all, when we're old, we're going to be joking around about how we have the phone knuckle. It's so bad. Um, but I don't think that's really the case. I think it's kind of the phone. I think it's just how the phone in general, I don't think it would matter unless there was like a cushion here. I don't think it would matter. I guess that's why some people get the pop socket so you can hold that instead. And that might be a good choice for you. I just hate anything sticking off my phone. I want minimal. Like I want, honestly, what I want is the smallest, slimmest phone that has a good enough screen and everything. And then I would love to not have a case. That would be my ideal would be um, not have a case on your phone because it feels so slim in the pocket. It's just, it's lighter. It's just, you know, take your, take your case off your phone right now and hold it. You're going to love it. It's so nice to carry, but we're going to break it. So we got to be all careful. And I figure why not combine that with a wallet and boom, you got two things out of your pocket or, you know, you got two things in one basically. So I've been rambling here. So this is the fits from Andar. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Highly recommend it. There's a link, uh, affiliate link down below. You can use my code lefty EDC or lefty 15. It's down there. Um, but I don't care about that part. Just go check out Andor. They got really cool stuff, including the i uh, the AirPod cases. I have three of these. So I have this one. Um, I believe this one is called the Capsule because it kind of looks like a capsule. Nice leather. Um, this looks a little bit, um, you know, finicky or whatever, but I've had this for a year and it's literally held up fantastically nice plastic on the inside and they go in and out easy but they don't pop out easy what i hate is when you get a case like this you open it and then your you know lid pops off and it's like why am i even using this case right um you can charge through this i've used it with the uh fast chargers and this fits the airpod 3 um so the reason they're not in here right now is because they're uh, in my bag or they're hanging off my backpack because I'm about to go to Blade West. I'll grab that in a second. But that's the capsule. Um, and then this one is, man, I wish I would have uh, remembered all the names. I think this one's the Madeira. And um, again, link below. You can check all this stuff out on their website. But this is the Madeira. And you can see there I had to kind of like pull it off to get the lid off. So if you just open it, you're good to go. You're not going to have an issue with it popping off. You have to pull back and then it'll, you, know, you have to basically pull it too far. But the cool thing is the way they, the way they do these lids, the reason they do this strap is because as you open it, look what happens. It pulls the AirPods up out of the case and presents them to you. So you don't have to like reach down in there to get it. They just they just pop right up at you. It's pretty cool in my opinion. These are the AirPods 2, I believe. I also have, so I have AirPods 3, I have AirPods 2, and then I have an uh, AirPod original one um, that was gifted to me by my old boss. Shout out to Chad. Check out uh, Nation Imprint. They make really cool promotional products and stuff. That's where uh, at Devo, we got our bottle openers, we got our microfibers. That all came from uh, coasters. We got all that stuff from... Uh, nation imprint which is uh awesome but anyway i have a lot of airpods because they're my favorite head headphones they are just easy they pop on and most importantly the reason i don't have airpods pros is because uh i hate the the putting those squeegees in my ear it's just yeah, it's creepy to me it feels weird i just don't like it i love the airpods how they're just like a they just sit in your ear and then um, you can still kind of hear and stuff. I don't know. It's just nicer. They fit for me really well. Uh, but anyway, the Madeira, this one's in wood. It's really, really nice. Uh, absolutely love their uh, AirPod cases. They make all types of stuff. Let me grab the other one. This one's probably my most used. And um, I do apologize. I don't know the name of this one. I should have prepared better, but um, I used to know them all. Madeira, Capsule, and... Mm, it's going to bug me. But anyway, right now I have my threes in here. I'm waiting for them to make one of these that fits the threes, uh, like this. 
so you could charge it if you wanted to but i just slide it in like this still fits perfectly and the reason i like this one is because i have a uh carabiner on it it comes with a lanyard um it comes with a, a leather lanyard strap i've had this i mean i've had these for i mean i think more than a year i've had these but this one just hangs off my backpack um and it's fantastic. It's just so easy when you go on a trip or you go to the office or whatever. You just have your AirPods with you. Um, these are the threes. I absolutely uh, love the threes. I think I kind of like the fit of the twos better um, in my ear. But the sound and everything on these is definitely better. Battery life, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but it slides right in there. And then pop, you just close it up really nice leather on all of this stuff um they do a, just a great job um i think that's you know that's most of the stuff i do have the apple watch bands but i've talked about them they just sent me a new one in black i'm really excited to try um i haven't had a chance to really mess with this yet i'm about to take it with me on the trip so we can see how it fits in there um and then i have the helm case so this is the helm and this is the Chase, I believe. So I've had this for over a year. Um, and you can see it's well-worn. Absolutely fantastic case. It's just super slim and minimal. Doesn't cover all the stuff. It just protects it enough. Has the nice little feet. Um, and it leaves your ports open and everything. So right here, boom, just slides right in. I got the one that uh, would fit with the case on. And there we go. So now I have a nice little package here to take with me to, sorry, I keep knocking that, uh, to Blade Show West. There's a little pocket right here. I don't know what you would put in here that's not like, I don't know, I wouldn't want something bulky in there. Like if I put my AirPods in, yes, they would fit, but I feel like that's weird to have this sort of bulbous thing right here. So I think you would slide something flat in there, maybe like a passport, you know, something like that. Um, could I stow a knife in here? I don't think so. So, um, but anyway, that's the, uh, chase, which from all, you know, from my experience and from what I can tell so far, um, this is, uh, going to be, uh, as fantastic as the rest of these items. So, um, yeah, that's it. Quick video ish for me. Uh, on Andar, I know you guys, um, you guys don't tend to watch these videos for some reason. Every time I do an Andar video, it gets really poor views. Um, I'm not the guy who cares about views all that much, but I do find it interesting. Um, if you're still watching this, are, is it that you're just, you just prefer to watch the knife content? That's really what you're here for. Um, or you're just not into this stuff. Is it price point? Is it uh, the leather, you don't like leather. I'd love to hear why people aren't as into this as I, I am, if that makes sense. Um, and again, I did say earlier, these were sent to me by them to review. So maybe it's the money, right? Um, would I have bought all of these myself over time? Probably. Yeah, but that's me. Um, but I wouldn't have got them all like at one time, you know, I would have got one of these, and tried it and then you know i definitely would have bought this um well if i knew what i know now i definitely would buy this um i love this thing so all right i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day shout out to andar for sending this stuff along and uh i hope uh you have a great day i already said that and i will catch you later